The moon's largest crater has a chunk of metal embedded in it that's five times bigger than the big island of Hawaii. What more is, moon's largest crater, SPA, is hiding. And what unusual has James Webb Telescope discovered on the moon's largest crater? Even though it's been a half a century since Apollo 11, the amount of information we have about the moon is still shockingly limited. Quite literally, we've merely scratched the surface of our knowledge. An article that was recently published in Geophysical Research Letters describes the discovery of a massive, actually massive, body of material that was found hundreds of miles beneath the moon's biggest crater. In addition, researchers are at a loss to explain both what it is and how it got there. Within the South Pole Aitken Basin, or the SPA, which is located close to the South Pole of the Moon, there is something enormous and mysterious that is concealed beneath the crust. A gravitational anomaly that was just recently found sheds light on the existence of a vast deposit of material that has been hiding inside the mantle of the Moon all this time without anyone noticing. Researchers from Baylor University identified this mass in the mantle of the moon between the crust and the core of our neighboring planet, as the team believes it could be the remnants of an asteroid that smashed into the Aitken crater long ago, generating the enormous crater. Imagine bearing a five times greater mass of metal than the big island of Hawaii. According to Dr. Peter James, an assistant professor of planetary geophysics at Baylor's College of Arts and Sciences, that's about how much unexpected mass we observed. What if there is no crater place? The South Pole Aitken Basin runs 2,000 kilometers or 1,250 miles from Aitken Crater to the moon's South Pole, giving the feature its name. If this feature were superimposed on the United States, it would stretch all the way from Washington, D.C. to Waco, Texas. Around 4 billion years ago, a large collision caused an impact site on the moon spanning more than 8 kilometers through the lunar surface. This is four times deeper than the Grand Canyon. Skywatchers on Earth are out of luck when it comes to viewing this phenomenon, as the gigantic crater is located on the opposite side of the moon from where we are looking. Researchers found indications of something big lying beneath the surface of the moon by combining data collected by the Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory mission with a topographic map of the moon. This mysterious substance is causing the basin to become shallower by around 800 meters as a result of its downward pressure, or about half a mile. GRAIL was developed by NASA to address this issue. They launched two lunar orbiters in 2011 and 2012, and for a year they measured the change in distance between the two spacecraft as they orbited the moon to gather data on the gravity field and the moon's geology. For its time, it was an extremely high-quality study. When we merged that with lunar topography data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, we discovered the unusually big quantity of mass hundreds of miles underground the South Pole Aitken Basin, said one of the researchers. According to James, one of the possible explanations for this additional mass is that the metal from the asteroid that caused this crater is still embedded in the mantle of the moon. This concept is compatible with computer simulations that predict considerable sections of the core that of a nickel-iron asteroid might be left behind in the lunar mantle when an asteroid collides with the moon in a forceful way. So, let's take a look at the prequel to this story. The age of the South Pole Aiken Basin is estimated to be 4 billion years, making it approximately the same age as life on Earth. Planets and moons around our solar system have, in the past, been subjected to impacts that were significantly more powerful than the ones that created the crater. But as far as astronomers know, few of these structures have been as well preserved as these. An investigation into this enormous ancient impact could lead to new understandings of the early days of our solar system, which occurred at a crucial point during the development of the solar system. Lunar samples imply that the majority of the Moon's major basins developed approximately 3.9 billion years ago during a period that is known as the Late Heavy Bombardment, according to the team behind the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO. By this time, most of the large debris within the solar system should have already accreted to form the planets, so such a large number of big impacts occurring at nearly the same time may have been due to unusual gravitational dynamics in the early solar system. An investigation of the area may provide evidence, or help reject, the idea that vast amounts of bodies collided with the planets that make up the inner solar system of the distant past. Such an event would have probably had a big impact on the early development of both Earth and the Moon. According to the findings of the researchers, 
A gigantic impactor is probably not the only possible explanation for this unexpected discovery. There's also the possibility that this massive deposit in the lunar mantle is something that was left over from the early stages of the solar system. Investigators hypothesize that the discovery of this material in the lunar mantle that cannot be explained could be evidence of oxides formed on the moon as a result of the solidification of ancient seas of lava on the moon. What has China's U-22 mission discovered? On the other hand, China's U-22 mission has discovered something new on the far side of the moon. Among its dry, gray dust, the rover's panoramic camera captured images of two small, perfectly round objects made of clear glass. Data on the moon's past, including its mantle composition and impacts, can be stored in these spherules. These natural lunar marbles, even if U-22 was unable to obtain compositional data, may be valuable research targets in the future because glass is not uncommon on the moon. A substance is formed when silicate material is heated to high temperatures, and both of these ingredients can be found on the moon in abundance. As a result of widespread volcanism in the moon's past, volcanic glass was made, and smaller items like meteorites colliding also produced glass. U-22 sighting may have been caused by the latter, according to researchers led by planetary geologist Zi Yong Shao from the Sun Yat-sen University and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It is difficult to say for sure if some of the spherules are less than a millimeter in diameter, because most of the glass found on the moon so far appears to be different from that collected by U-22. Glass spherules are generated during an impact on Earth, causing the crust to melt and spray into the atmosphere because of the extreme heat. Glass beads are formed as the molten material cools and condenses. U-22 spherules measure between 15 and 25 millimeters in diameter. On the moon's near side, Apollo 16 detected glass balls up to 40 millimeters across. The fact that they have been linked to a nearby crater doesn't make them special, though, and they are just as likely to be impact spherules. However, according to Xiao and his colleagues, there are some significant differences between the two studies. A vitreous sheen can be seen on the far side spherules, which appear to be translucent or semi-transparent. Aside from the two that appear to be translucent, they discovered four more spirals with a similar sheen, but whose translucency was not confirmed. Although lunar meteorite impacts may have created these spherules, it's also plausible that they were already there beneath the surface and were only brought to light by impacts. What is NASA's current goal regarding the moon? NASA's current goal is to return humans to the moon by 2024, a deadline that's been set by the agency. The agency's next crewed mission to the moon is scheduled to lay near the lunar surface's south pole. Nations and corporations are striving to be the first to set foot on the moon's surface with a human crew after China and India. The Space Launch System, SLS, the Orion spacecraft, and the Lunar Gateway are all being prepared by NASA. Their goal is to establish a permanent human presence on the moon, paving the way for the eventual landing of humans on Mars. China has announced plans to use robotic 3D printers to create shelters for tourists to the South Pole of the Moon. In the meantime, private companies like SpaceX are working on putting humans on the Moon and Mars. To begin our voyage into outer space, we must first land on the Moon. Mars and the rest of the solar system cannot be colonized unless we can get to the Moon's surface reliably. It's possible that this research will help us get a step closer to finding our new home on the Moon. So, this was all about this video. I hope you like the information given in the video, and if you have anything on your mind, feel free to comment below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this, and hit the bell icon so you're always updated on our latest channel updates. Thanks for watching!